that's all. Put down that muscle, boy. And get on that live feed, boy. And entertain me, damn you. What are you doing? All right, damn it. I ain't gonna talk like Froggy Bill or, or like the, like a, I actually sound more like a Cajun dude than Froggy Bill. But damn it, Dirty, where the hell you been, man? God damn it, you are supposed to come on here, Scooter, and entertain me, damn it. At least once a fucking week or once a month, something. You ain't been on that damn live feed in about three, four fucking weeks, Scooter. Damn you. I is your biggest fan. Yes, right, me, the weakest link is your biggest fucking fan. I hold up my end of the damn bargain. I come on here and do these damn videos at least once a fucking week. Well, I didn't do one last week, but down I was busy. Y'all, I had work and shit. You know, I had my kid with me and some other stuff. I've been busy. Y'all don't judge me, damn it. But, uh, but damn it, Scooter, you ain't, you ain't been on there at all lately. You know who has been on there, though, Scooter? You know who has been on somewhere lately on the Scooter Bagging Show? A hater, Scooter, that's what. A goddamn hater. A goddamn sideways talker. The biggest damn sideways talker I've ever fucking heard in my life, Scooter. You believe that shit? Somebody that, that the haters claimed it was your mama. Of course it wasn't, though. We know it wasn't. I know it wasn't. You know it wasn't, Scooter. Of course that wasn't your mama. Mama Boo would never say some shit like that. She come on there saying and said, said, Dark is retarded. Damn it, Scooter, you're not retarded, are you? That is a vicious lie. That is a vicious lie from the pits of hell, damn it. Saying that you're retarded like that. My God, that, that ain't very nice thing to say, neither. That ain't very nice at all. My God, talking about, uh, damn, that, I mean, that, that really, that really chapped my ass when she said that. God damn it, that made me mad. I said, damn it, now, Scooter ain't perfect. He may be on drugs. He may have some, some psychological issues going on up there in that noggin of his, but he is not retarded, damn it. That is a vicious lie. That is slanderous. Damn it. And then Scooter, uh, uh, the, the other thing she said, I mean, she's on here talking about kids and everything. Damn it, she come on there and said that Dirk is not a good daddy. Dirk has never been a daddy to that night. Said that she, that her and her husband been a daddy, a mommy and daddy, or daddy or something to that to that child. I mean, they talking about kids and everything. They bringing kids in this. Scooter, you believe that shit? Damn it, Scooter, anybody that watches your damn live feed like I do and is your biggest fan like I am, they know that you go in the woods and ride the motorcycles with that boy all the time when he's over there. They know y'all get on the damn uh, PlayStation and play the PS4 and shit on there. They know you do. You're a good dad. That's what good dads do. They go riding motorcycles in the woods with the or the four-wheelers, whatever it is, and they play the damn PlayStation together, damn it. Fuck out of here with that shit. These goddamn lies. And them haters had the audacity to say that's Mama Boo. That ain't Mama Boo. I mean, it did kind of sound like her, but, I mean, you know. And she did talk like her because she kept referring to somebody named Chig or Poppy or, you know, sometimes she called him Chig, other times she called him Poppy. And I vaguely recall on the live feed on, in the past, Scooter talking about, you know, referring to to them as, as something like that, you know, to his stepdaddy or something like that, you know, like when the kid was around, but. Damn it, though. Scooter, you can't let these people do you this way, man. God Almighty. You know what that is, Scooter? You know what that is? What that woman did to you? Not only was that slander, slander and libel, by God, that was hate speech, damn it. You need to, what you need to do, Scooter, is you need to go get your lawyer. You remember the one you was going to get last year, my cunt? Go on there and get him or get Billy Earl or whoever called Billy Earl spent. According to Scooter, he said Billy Earl spent 15 years living in in some place called the hood. He's living in this hood, this little straw hood, I guess what I picture in my mind, is he was living in this straw hood for 15 years, picking up 500 pound weights, and he was also studying to get his law degree, damn it. So Billy Earl got a law degree. So uh, if you can't afford my cunt, go get Billy Earl, and y'all go on up there to that Washington DC court you always tell us about, Scooter, and uh, you go up there and you file a damn lawsuit against that damn hater, that damn sideways talker, that vicious liar and slanderer, Going up there and damn file a Washington D.C. court lawsuit against her for hate speech and goddamn slander and everything else and discrimination and everything. She is scooter ain't right, man. You go on up there and you pick your you and my cunt or you and Billy Earl. Y'all go up there with your lawyer and y'all pick your six jurors and you, you let her that hater going up there and pick her six jurors. And by God, you take that damn uh, shit in the back room and you let your jurors do battle. By God, and you'll come out the winner. I bet, scooter. Shit, you might end up owning that damn meth camera before it's over, like legally owned it, not just saying you do. You might actually have your name on the deed of that damn thing after you, was, after you get a hold of that woman in the courts. I mean, if it really was your mama. Of course it wasn't, though. Mama Boo wouldn't do that. She wouldn't talk about Scooter that way. Surely she wouldn't. Surely she wouldn't talk about you like that, Dirk. Come on, man. You know she wouldn't do that to would she? Would she really? I mean, it did kind of sound like her. 
Because she's like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm trying to tell you without just coming out and saying it, but dirt is for time. That man, that's awful. Damn it, Scooty, you can't let her get away with that. I know it might be, it might really be your mama, but dude, you can't let her talk about you that way to your haters, man. It ain't like she went to Sinead or Sinead's family or she went talking to your cousin, the, uh, the dude in Minnesota or one of them folks. She went to the haters, man. She went to Froggy Bill. Who went to, to damn Scooter Baggins? I mean, it's like your arse nemesis on the damn internet. The damn, uh, the guy that wears the face mask and it's in the street gang and all that shit, man. And the hacker and all that. Man, god damn, you can't let them get away with this, Scooter. I mean, I don't think that's right, man. Damn. Man, they is coming at you all kind of sideways, though, man. She was even talking about how you didn't even help them. Remember last year when y'all was remodeling the math camper, your mama's trailer? She's even saying that you didn't do no work in that shit. And we all, anybody that watched that live feed, they know Scooter did all that damn work. He did, like, 90% of it. He did all the sanding and the painting in the hallway. And then Scooter helped pull up them boards from the floor and then shit in the bathroom. And Scooter helped, uh... Help Billy Earl install the new flooring and install the new shower and all that shit. And did the painting and all that stuff. We know you did, Scooter. You did all that. While everybody else sat on the rest and watched you work. Damn it. And then a couple of damn weeks ago when they was painting the living room over to the math camper. I seen it with my own damn eyes. These eyes right here, I seen it on the damn Facebook where you posted pictures of where you had gone in there and painted them damn walls. And she's talking like you didn't even do no damn work. That's bullshit. That's lies, man. Lies from the pits of hell, like I said earlier. You know what that damn person is that called on it, called into the scooter bag and sure called into old Froggy Bill and saying all that shit. You know what they are? They're lower than dirt, dude. That's what they are. They're a hater and a vicious slander and a vicious hater. Like old Robbie Oddball used to say. That damn pun scum. That is pun scum right there. Anybody talk about scooter that way. Damn, man, I can't believe that shit. I can't believe you'd let somebody come on there on the damn come to your haters on one of your haters fucking YouTube channels talking that away about you. And then they said you was retarded, man. That's a horrible word to say about somebody any damn place. But they said it about you, Scooter Down, man. Was that really your mom saying that, Scooter? For real? I mean, I know they had her voice disguised a little bit on there like it was slowed down or something. But, man, I don't know. It kind of did sound like it. I don't know, man. That's that's some bad shit, though. Scooter down, man. I mean, maybe she was just doing this to get back at you, Scooter, for 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 getting involved with all that bullshit with that uh that Junior Samples fella or Tim Mack or whoever that put that website up with your mama and the horse on there. Oh my God. Ugh, that now that was awful. My God, that was terrible. They had your mama on there. What made her look made her to look like she was having relations with a horse, man. That's terrible. Thankfully, uh, Junior Samples came to his senses and took it down. And uh, but uh, and Tim Mack done, done, you know, got in. I got out of all this shit. And he he had sense to take it down too, because he was Tim was scared you was gonna sue him. I guess I don't know, but uh, or whoever. That's what I heard. I heard it was Junior Samples and Tim Mack that put that website up. I, I don't know, you know. But damn though, man, maybe maybe your mama was doing that to get back at you for for getting her involved in all that bullshit. I I don't know. But, but you can't let them do you that way, Scooter. That ain't right, man. Good God, man. And damn it, Scooter, you need to get back on that damn live feed. I don't give a fuck. You got uh, charges pinned against you. You, you know, you got court and all that shit. Who the fuck cares? Get on that damn live feed and entertain me, damn you. And get off that damn mortison or whatever the hell they call it. Shit. Oh, that's the other thing your mama said. You doing drugs and shit and heroin and God knows what else. Said you damn, uh... Taking all her medicine, her medicine, taking all her damn Xanax pills and shit. God almighty, said you, you said you and Sinead wasn't clean, too. She said y'all didn't, you and Sinead, when y'all lived over there to the meth camper, y'all didn't even take showers or bathe or nothing. She said she'd come back there to tell y'all that the dinner was ready or whatever, and y'all just stay back there in that damn room. Said she'd come back there to take y'all clean towels to shower, and said y'all wouldn't even damn shower. Said y'all... She said Shanae looked like she was just nasty. Said she stunk. She didn't clean. She didn't do nothing. Said she sat back there in that damn uh, in that damn nursery that y'all lived in over to her house. My God, that's a vicious lie. Cause well, I mean, you know, I mean, it's not like Scooter and Shanae was coming on the damn live feed every night looking all you know nasty and greasy and all that shit. But I mean, they kind of were on most of them. I mean, but there was that one time where uh, now nah, Shanae may may be like shit. I, 
most of that was about Sinead, but there was this one time, though, where Scooter, a couple of months ago, it was right after he got arrested that night for the domestic violence incident, he come on there and had some pictures on the damn internet and a live feed on there, where he actually had taken a shower, put on a nice-looking clean shirt and some nice clean pants, and had damn combed his hair over and actually looked normal. Shit, I mean, I, I don't have no hair to comb over, but, but Scooter does, damn it, and that. Uh, you know, and, and y'all don't judge me, damn it. I'm getting older, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinning out a little toss. So I have to keep mine shade, damn it. But, but Scooter don't, man. He actually combed his over and dressed up and got it looking normal, and he looked almost normal on that damn shit. But, so I, I don't know. So, you know, maybe like 99% of the time they're like that on there. But there was that one time though where Scooter actually looked like a normal fella on there. But I don't, I don't. Oh, shit. But, yeah, she said that, damn, Scooter, she said that y'all, you and Sinead been using her and her husband for money, and you stole her Madison, and God knows what else. Oh, my God. Oh, God damn it, she said you had gotten violent with her. Damn you, Scooter. And she said that you finally, after somebody called the damned, uh, the damn government on y'all, called the law or whatever, and somebody come out there and talked to both of y'all, said you finally quit treating her like shit after that. Said you was probably scared that you would get in trouble if you did it even more. So damn it, Scooter, that was your mama. What the hell, man? Why you beating on your mama and talking shit to her, man? Good God, you 35 years old living in her house. Ain't even got a job. Spending all up, spending up all her money, taking up all her damn medicine. Goddamn, dude. But it wasn't right of her to call you retarded neither, though, damn it. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this shit, damn it. Well, that was Mama Boo on there. It had to have been, damn it. Talking about she took you, her and her husband took your son camping. Said that you're a not a good daddy. Said they took your boy camping and that he was breaking out in the house because he was allergic to something. And said they was going to try to take him home because he needed to get out, get away from whatever it was he's allergic to. But they said he refused to go. Said he didn't want to go back there because he didn't want to be around Scooter. Damn, man. He'd rather stay out there in the woods around something he's allergic to than go home and be around his own daddy. Man, goddamn. Man, that's some vicious shit to say. If that ain't true, man, that's some fucking horrible shit to say. So, Scooter, if I, and I, I ain't saying it's true. I, I'm betting it's not. So, damn it, you go on over and get my cunt or get Billy Earl or whoever and go on up there and file your damn lawsuit in Washington, D.C. court. That's hate speech, damn it. Take care of this, Scooter. Get this shit taken care of. I got to get off here, y'all. Time's up. Uh, damn, Scooter. Damn, man.